Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. One of our community members from live.perillo.com, who goes by the name Roy, asks a relatively simple question, although it sounds complex at first. Chris, when I connect the digital out of my PC video card to my HDTV via HDMI input, I can see the computer text and basically everything but the video player part of the screen. Well, this could be for a few different reasons, but first let's try to break it down for those who may not be familiar with what HDTV is. Anybody in the chat room? HDTV? What does it stand for? I'm going to beat into the punch here. High definition television and HDMI is a new type of cable that I just so happen to have in my hand. Hmm. It's almost like I knew the answer to this question before it was asked. This is an HDMI cable, and granted, I'm not going to zoom in very close, but it's a very simple cable that connects audio and video from one source to another. And laptops, some laptops now come with HDMI. A HD televisions, a lot of them now come with HDMI. Uh, it's becoming the standard interface for high definition content, sound and uh, video. HDMI, by the way, stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface. Multimedia, audio, video, that's, that's multi. The issue is that when he's outputting from his PC onto the television, he can see the whole screen except for that part the video is playing. Well, one of our community members, KTech, who's a very active uh, community member here at live.perillo.com, says this, if you set the HDMI out, that would be the, the source of the video, the computer, the PC, as the default monitor, the videos will play. It's copy protection in action. Windows Media Player only lets videos play on the primary monitor. So, Roy, that's likely the solution to your issue. Uh, as long as you set the HDMI out as the primary monitor, you'll be fine. And I know everyone at home is going, what the heck is going on? Why is it so difficult? Well, as KTech mentioned, this is copy protection in action. A lot of the producers of content don't want you stealing their content. They only want you watching it the way they think that they want you to watch it, or the way that it should be watched or, or viewed. They don't want you copying it. They don't want you stealing it. They don't want you pirating it. So they're going to slap DRM on it and make sure that you can only view it the way that it was meant to be viewed. Well, the issue with that is, is that you're the consumer. You just want to view it. You don't care how it's viewed. And in this case of Roy, he doesn't want to view it on his computer monitor. He wants to view it on his HDTV. So he's connecting the HDMI cable from his laptop or his PC. I don't, he didn't really specify whether it was a laptop or a desktop directly to uh, the HD uh, screen, the actual television screen. He couldn't get it to work. You may have run into this before in earlier days with videos that you play on your desktop. Uh, sometimes when you take a screen capture of a live video, it doesn't capture the image that's playing back in your media player. And the reason why is because that video is not being rendered on the screen. It's being rendered in hardware. It's not being rendered in software. And to turn that off in a Windows media player or in a media player in general, there's usually a hardware acceleration toggle somewhere in the options. And as long as you turn the hardware acceleration off, I know that's kind of counterintuitive, but if, if you're trying to capture video, an actual screenshot, a snapshot of live video, uh, you could take that option and turn off hardware, hardware acceleration in the software and you would essentially be playing your video back fully in software with no hardware optimization, no hardware acceleration at all, being able to take a screen capture. That's the only reason why you'd ever want to uh, turn off hardware acceleration if you wanted to take a, 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 sti a still of the video that was playing back. But then when you start playing with high definition content and, and content that was copy protected, then Sometimes you, you, you got to work around the issues, and I'm glad KTech picked up on that. He's obviously had that experience before. It could be a really tricky. Um, as easy as, a, as it is to, to plug in an HDMI cable, sometimes you, you, you got to work around some of these uh, headaches that we run into. Now, if you've got any other questions or issues that you may happen to be having uh, with either HD or media in general, go ahead and swing by the chat room. We're always live at live.perillo.com. You never know. Your question may be the next one we answer on my high definition television, even though it's not on right now. But I'll turn it on after I'm done answering the question, because I got to watch the uh, Robot Chicken Star Wars episode, which wasn't broadcast in HDTV.